In this video, we look at the Vernum cipher or one time pad, and we explain why the Vernum cipher is considered a cipher with perfect security. So, this video covers the Vernum cipher encryption method. We introduced the concept of encryption in the previous video. If you haven't yet seen it, please go back and watch that video first. So, invented in 1917 by Gilbert Vernum, the Vernum cipher is also known as a one time pad cipher. All one time pad ciphers offer perfect security if the encryption key, that's the one time pad, is equal to or longer than the plain text message, two, the key is truly random, and three, the key is used only once and then destroyed. Now, the last point is really important. For this to be perfectly secure, the key must be shared in person. Other types of encryption are based on computational security. As such, they can all theoretically be hacked. So let's have a look here. The word we want to encrypt is going to be Dave. That's in the bottom left, capital D, lowercase a v e. We then have our one time pad. Now, remember that has to be at least as long as the plain text we want to encrypt. And it is, it's four characters. We've got a hash symbol, a nine, an open square brackets, and a capital G. Let's see how we get to the encrypted ciphertext version of Dave. So let's start with the first letter, the capital D. We look that up in our ASCII table and we write down the sequence of characters 1000100. We then look up the sequence of bits for the first character in our one time pad. That's the hash symbol and we get 01000011. We then perform the bitewise operator XOR, exclusive OR. So we've got a 1 and a 0 is a 1, a 0 and 1 is a 1, a 0 and 0 is a 0, a 0 and 0 is a 0, and then we have a 1, a 1, and a 1. We have a new sequence of 8 bits. Having done the bitewise XOR operation on the bits from capital D and hash, we look this 8 bit value up in the ASCII table and we find lowercase g. And that becomes the first letter of our encrypted ciphertext. We do the same thing for the other three characters. We end up with the encrypted ciphertext G, capital L X, hyphen, close quotes. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What is the Vernum cipher and how does it work? And what do we mean by the phrase one time pad?